hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done where? In earth as it is in heaven. That prayer has not yet been answered. But friend, it will be answered. Because the kingdom of God is the kingdom of God's government. It is the kingdom of God's grace. It is the kingdom of God's goodness. And it is the kingdom of God's glory. Let me tell you something, friend. God is going to be glorified here upon this earth. He is going to rule here on earth. The babe of Bethlehem is going to be the sovereign king of the whole world. When Jesus Christ came into this world, the angel made this birth announcement. Put this verse down in your margin. Luke 1, verses 32 and 33. I want you to listen to it. Here's what the angel said about the baby that was born. He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him, listen, the throne of his father, David. The throne of David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob and of his kingdom. There shall be no end. Now, when he says the house of Jacob, he's talking there not about spiritual Israel, but literal Israel. The house of Jacob. Jacob is never a term that is used for spiritual Israel, always for natural Israel. We're talking here about the earthly reign of the Lord Jesus Christ. Did you know that Jesus Christ is going to rule one more time here on earth? Did you know that? I mean, literally rule here on earth where he was born, here on earth where he ministered, here on earth where he was crucified, here on earth where he was buried, here on earth where he rose, here on earth where he ascended, to this earth, Jesus Christ is literally, actually, visibly, bodily coming back to this earth. Do you believe that? I hope you do. Friend, he is going to reign on earth. And the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as waters that cover the sea. That's what the prophet said. Do you think that Jesus Christ would have taught us to pray this prayer if it would not have been answered? His kingdom has not come yet on earth. His will is not being done on earth, but it shall be, it will be, because our Lord taught us to pray that. Today, Jesus Christ is an outcast in the world of government, in the world of education, and in society. Turn to Psalm 2. If this does not set your heart on fire, your wood is very wet. Psalm 2. Why do the heathen rage? I'll tell you why. Rage is what you do when you don't know what else to do. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing?